I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, bank roll, your roll. Hey, what's going on everybody? Sweat with JD bringing you a 15 minute ab workout. Now, before we get into this, I wanna give a huge shout out to my sponsors over at Wellwave, Sneak Easy, and Roan. Huge shout out to them. Thank you so much for supporting this journey. I appreciate all of you. And also, if you like the workout, be sure to like, save, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the workout. Let's get it. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome, welcome. It is now time to get your 15 minute abs on. My name is JD, who's ready to rock it out. All you need right now is you and a mat. Now, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be setting up in about 15 seconds, uh, but I'm gonna take you guys through a little bit of a warm up, and then we're gonna take it down into the floor, and everything is just going to smooth out really nicely. So let's go right into this with some jumping jacks. You ready in three, two, one, let's jack it up. Touch your hands up at the top, jump your feet out and in. Nice and light, let's start this day off right. Maybe it's the morning, maybe it's the evening, wherever. We're rocking it out. All right, we got a graduated high knee sprint right here in three, two, one. So jog your knees right here, nice and light. And the point of the graduated sprint right here is that the knees are gonna get higher and higher and higher until they reach their highest point right now. Let's go. Come on, three, two, one, everybody drop it on down, high plank position. Knees, feet, thighs together. We're gonna to do alternating spider lunges, right and left. So step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Reach up with the left, and you switch. Right foot steps to the outside of your right hand. Reach up, and switch. Go at your own pace here. We've got about 40 seconds. All we're doing here is creating space in the hips. Opening up the back. Oh. Getting our body ready and primed. If you'd like, you can send that forearm down to the floor. Maybe get a deeper stretch. Those hips especially. Let's get it. Now in about 15 seconds, we're gonna stay in this plank. We're just gonna follow the directions that I give. Ready for this? Everybody hold the high plank position, feet shoulders width. All you're gonna do is step your right foot in, left foot in, right foot out, left foot out. Again, right foot in, left foot in, right foot out, left foot out. Keep going, right, left, right, left. So check this out. This may be a little difficult for you, especially with the feet and legs going in and out. So if you need to, stay in that high plank position. Maybe drop your knees down if you have to. All right, all we're gonna do is just change the order in which we go in, in, out, out with. Our left leg is gonna lead. Three, two, one, let's go. Step the left foot in, right foot in. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Keep going. I just wanna highlight my, oh, my arms right here. My hands, elbow, and shoulders are all stacked on top of one another. You start to find yourself pushing away from this. Yeah? It starts to put some pain in the shoulders right there. We don't want that. So have that stacked directly over that left, right. Left, right. Here we go, final 30 seconds. Let's just hold that high plank position. Jump your knees, feet, thighs together. If you have to, drop the knees down. Don't shoot the butt back, bring the butt with you. Good. Try to tuck your pelvis. Just hold, be still. Brutal. Push to the floor, push to your fingertips through the floor. 10 more seconds. I'm gonna give you a 30 second rest and I'll explain the next thing. Come on down, three, two, one, come on down. Woo! Oh baby, starting to warm up a little bit. Now what we're gonna go into next is this core strengthening exercise called a bird dog. Now it's designed to hit your core, your booty, and these two things are gonna go hand in hand, especially when you start to box later on, not in this class, um, and also for, uh, if, for if you have problems with your low back as well, this is great for helping strengthening that. Now, be on all four, shoulders right over the hands like we did before. My knees are right under my hips. I want you to brace your abs, flex. Draw your shoulder blades down. Everybody, reach your right arm and left leg out away from the center. Good, bring it back in. Switch to the opposite side. Left arm reaches, right leg shoots out at the same time. Bring that back to center. All I'm trying to do is keep my hips parallel with the floor. So I don't want to see anybody teetering or any hips coming up. Right? How much control can you have while keeping your abs braced, shoulders drawing down, 
while alternating this bird to keep going. So what tends to happen here is as we reach, we let go of our core, right? So what happens if as we're reaching out, hold it, brace your abs, right? I really have to think of pushing through my arm, squeezing my butt as well, <laughs> as we move in and out of this movement. Now coming up, we're gonna just hold that bird dog on the right side for 30 seconds. Are you ready? I am. Here we go, right on shoot top in three, two, one, hold it. 30 seconds. Strength stabilization right here. We're challenging ourselves to hold the movement. Can you brace your abs, draw your shoulders down, check in with yourself. What's happening here? Muscles are starting to shake. I feel my left glute going off right now. Meaning it's turning on, it's fired up. Let's switch to the other side. Three, two, one, switch. Left arm extends, right leg extends out. Keep your abs braced. Push through the right hand, push through the left knee. Check in with yourself. Are you shooting your right hip up? Can you pull that right hip down? Brace your abs. There you go, you got 15 more seconds. All we're gonna do is we're just gonna try and challenge ourselves with that high plank position again. Yep, that's right, I said it. High plank. On my go. Three, two, one, let's go. Feet shoulders width, hold that high plank. You wanna challenge yourself, walk your feet in to this position called a bear plank. Right, we were doing that earlier. Oh my gosh, this is brutal. So my knees are hovering off the ground. I'm in my toes, I'm in my hands right here, pushing your fingers, shoulders stack right over that. You got 10 more seconds, stay with me. If you chose to do the bear plank, you hold that bear plank. Let's go, baby. Come on, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Holy crap. All right, have a seat. We're gonna be working some crunches, some tabletop crunches, and along with that, we're gonna add in a kick out. So that's upper, middle, and starting to get into the lower abs. This is one of my favorite sequences, or uh, better yet, some of my favorite ab moves that I like to put together because it really gets my core fired up and I feel very connected after I'm done working these movements. So let's do a crunch. Feet on the ground, hands interlaced behind your head, elbows as wide as possible. Let's start to crunch, go. Up and down, right here, right now. So, what tends to happen here is I tend to see the elbows pulling together as far as possible. Using this, can you actually do the opposite of that? Elbows as wide as possible. Let your head rest in your hands as you go up and down. Now we're gonna do what's called a tabletop crunch. Everybody lift your knees up, knees feet thighs together, flex the feet. I have a 90 degree bend in my inside of the knees right here. Hold that position, start to crunch again. The challenge, right? Visualize you got a tabletop right here and there are tacos there. Plate full of tacos. We love tacos. Don't destroy your tacos. Let's go. So right now I'm starting to get into that upper middle abs. Try not to let the legs move as you go up and down. Because in a moment we're gonna work that kick out. Everybody hold the crunch, hold that crunch, hold it, don't move. Now all you're gonna do is extend your legs out away from your hips, bring them back into that tabletop position. Again, kick your legs straight out as far as they can go, bring them back in. All while doing this, can you keep your lower back pushing into the ground? That navel pushing into the spine. Woo! If you have to, drop your head down, hands go underneath your butt. Keep going. We're gonna run through this whole sequence again from the top. Crunches and bunches, baby. Hands behind the head, interlace them, elbows wide, feet on the ground. Let's go. And crunch. Crunch. So right now, what I'm feeling, feeling a pretty good burn in my core. That's good. I hope you are too. 20 seconds left. If you need more of a challenge, hold it at the top of the crunch, little pulses. Yeah, it's a great way to just reconnect to that upper abs right there. In a moment, we're gonna work that tabletop crunch. Elbows wide. Come on. Lift up the legs, knees, feet, thighs together. Flex the feet. Keep these legs glued together. Start the tabletop crunch. Let's go. What tends to happen, even for me, as I start to get tired, I start to let the legs go and or let the heels drop. Can you keep those heels, those calves, parallel with the ground? Stay with it, team. Come on. Yeah. We're gonna work those kickouts again. I know, I know, I love them too. Hold the crunch. 
You got the kick outs. Extend your legs out. Bring them back in. Kick them out. Bring them back in. All pushing your lower back into the ground. Come on, you stay with me. Let's go. Modification if you have to. Drop your heels down. Bring it back up. Drop your heels down. Keep the 90 degree bend in the knees. Bring it back up. Let's go. If not, you're doing that straight out. Kick out with me. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Woo! Check it out, fam. Got two more rounds left. All right, or better yet, we got, yeah, yeah, we got two more rounds. We're gonna be working a single leg bicycle on the right side. So everybody take your right hand, this is my right hand. I'm gonna put it behind my head. Left arm is laying flat on the ground. Right foot is bent, or right knee is bent. My left leg is straight. Watch this, right elbow to left knee in three, two, one. Bring everything together to meet at the center and come back. Again, everything meets in the center, take everything away. Single leg bicycle. So we hit upper, middle, lower abs, right? We work planks to get that full abs. Now we're starting to get this cross body action, these obliques, all right? Now you work the crunch from before. So yes, we are still crunching up at the same time, and you work those two movements together, the twist of the body and the crunch as well. Let's switch it up, other side, left hand behind your head, right hand is down, right leg is up. Let's get it, in and out. So with our left leg on the ground, is a little bit easier, yes. But it's still challenging if you can find that crunch. Let's get it, come on. Stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. When you stop, you negate all the hard work that you're putting in, so let's stay away from that. I want to alternate bicycles in three, two, one, bicycle crunches. Let's go. Both hands behind the head, alternate right and left. One leg straightens out. Come on. Try to bring your knee to the outside of your elbow. Let's get it. Come on. 15 more seconds, so we're going to try it again from the top. Ah. Single leg bicycle, right arm behind your head. Right hand behind your head, left arm is out, left leg up, let's go. Cross, cross, cross. Woo. How are we feeling? Good? Guess what, I got a challenge for you. Straighten both legs out, like you did for the kick out. Keep the right leg still, left leg comes in. In, oh my gosh. <laughs> Brutal. Now we're in that hollow hold position. We're adding that bicycle crunch. If that's too much, that's okay. Put the right foot down. Other side, three, two, one. Left hand behind your head. Left elbow to right knee. Get it, get it, get it. So again, don't get discouraged if you're having a difficult time with this movement. That's okay, I want you to think of it this way. Everything's done in progressions, right? Single leg bicycle, you know what you have to do now to build up to a move like this. Right, the crunches, the kickouts, all of it. Here we go. Alternating bicycles together. Three, two, one, go. Keep your hands behind your head. Elbows reach towards the outside of the knee. Let's go. This is it. Come on. Your final push. And then I'm gonna give you guys a one minute plank to the finish. Yep, that's right. One minute plank. Get your mind focused. Because after that plank, you're done. Three, two, one. Go right away to that plank. Let's go. Find that plank. High plank, forearm plank. I'm going to do the high plank because that's what we've been working on today. I'm going to have my feet shoulders width. That's a little bit easier. You want the challenge, jump your feet in, knees, feet, thighs together. Make sure that your shoulders hovering right over your hands. Stay with it. Be still. Tuck your pelvis. Fifteen minutes of abs, can you believe it? Just like that. Woo! It's been an honor, everybody, sweating it out with you. But we ain't done yet. Come on, 20 more seconds, 20 more seconds. Push through the floor. Dimples of the elbows face inward towards each other. Yep, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Come on. Come on, you're almost there. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
one. And time. Clap it up for yourselves, everybody. Clap it up for yourselves. Let's cool down really quick. Stand up tall. I'd like you to interlace your hands up at the top. Push feet, shoulders width. Take a deep breath back. Oh, let's do an overhead stretch. Right arm falls down. Left arm goes over towards the right wall. Switching up over to the other side. Right arm comes up over the top towards the left wall. Good. Reach up one more time. Take your elbows. Pull them down. Nice. Find this nice W. Create space in your chest. Push that away. Go down towards the floor. Hang heavy here for a second. Good. Good. Bend your knees. You're going to turn out your toes. Elbows in towards the inner thighs. Just give me a nice deep sumo position right here. Create some space in your hips. Great work today, everybody. Place your hands on the ground. Straighten out the legs. Shake your head no, finish on a positive, nod in your head yes, bend through the knees, roll up as you come on out, hands high up to the sky, eyes on the prize today. Congratulate yourselves, I'm proud of all of you for finishing those 15 minute abs with me. My name is JD, thank you for sweating with me. Uh, if you like the video, if you like the workout, let me know. Like, save, and subscribe, share it, post it, whatever you want, and let me know if you have any questions. I'll catch y'all on the flippy flop. Peace out.